Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Today we're going to be looking at some new skills that I think Gong Strong will receive within Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Dual Links. So the first skill I think he's going to have is called the Heavy Strong Style. Its effect would be to add one random super, super heavy samurai equipped monster from your deck to your hand if you have taken 1500 life points of damage. Now, I think this is a reasonable enough effect considering that the Heavy Strong Style is something that Gong very firmly believes in. He believes the idea of using spells and trap cards are overly reliant and are very weak. He prefers to just use the raw style that is the monsters. The benefits of this effect would be it would let you equip a card which can provide multiple forms of, of advantage such as increased defense, double attacks or destruction effects which puts you in a position where you can actually overthrow some of your opponent's monsters more easily. Again, it also provides additional draw advantage which can protect your super heavy samurai monsters, whether that be from effects or from actual destruction, especially from like battle destruction. And it also means that minimum amount of damage in return for additional defense, as most likely if you're able to equip something that boosts that monster's defense points, your opponent isn't going to be able to get over that card particularly easily. The disadvantages of this skill would be, since it's a random equip effect, you may not get the equip monster relevant for your given situation. You might get one that gives you a benefit in one respect, but it just isn't helpful for you and will not move the game state on. The damage you take may not necessarily translate to an equip monster you need, and therefore it cannot control the amount of damage you take, especially from a defensive style of deck. I would say this is the major downside of this effect, because most of the monsters being in defense mode, that means unless your opponent has piercing effect monsters, they're not likely to do any damage until you basically need to give them an open board for them to attack you directly, in which case if you let that happen too often, or you are not reading your opponent's deck effectively, they can OTK you, or you might just be handing them the victory. And the last problem would be it's a predictable ability of a standard character, therefore it would be very easy to side against, more so especially as soon as Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 drops within Duel Links, because everyone will be using the brand new characters, that's just how everything works when we transition to the brand new worlds. So the next ability would be called Ben K Command. The skill would have randomly add one super heavy samurai Big Ben K from outside your deck. Now, for anyone who isn't aware, Big Ben K is a level 8 earth attribute machine type monster with 1000 attack and 3500 defense, and it basically grants all of your super heavy samurai monsters the ability to attack using their defense points rather than their attack points. It also means when it's summoned, whether that be normal or special summoned, it can actually transfer itself into defense mode. Since it has 3,500 attack, you know, that's an explosive defense points, and means it can pretty much get over most of your opponent's cards. The major benefits are Big Ben K enables your super heavy samurai monsters to attack using their defense points, as they have more defense than their attack. That means you're going to overwhelm your opponent much more easily. It can easily be summoned from the deck from the effect of Giant Rat, which I believe is currently within Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Basically, that monster lets you special summon an Earth Attribute monster from your deck with 1,500 or less attack if it is destroyed in battle. And of course, since Big Ben K has the ability when it's special summoned to change to defense mode, it doesn't matter if it's automatically put into attack mode by the effect of Giant Rat. And the disadvantages of this effect are it's very simplistic. Most of the newer super heavy samurai monsters can attack using the defense points already. Therefore, there might not be any need to introduce super heavy samurai Big Ben K. You also have to consider that they've gone about it very weirdly. It's very similar to what they've got with the despot, where they've actually introduced some of the weaker ones before some of the strong, stronger ones and vice versa. That means you're actually getting the ones you need least. Um, nearer the end and therefore you might actually not rely on those cards. Interesting there is one super heavy samurai monster I am very much looking forward to. I believe there is one that actually lets you steal one of your opponent's back row spell and trap cards and then it gets banished 
once it's been activated. I think that's something I am very much looking forward to because especially with some of the other duelists, you might not necessarily have the gems or the ability to spend money to purchase gems and therefore to purchase new packs. And so you might not get some of the best cards. This would be a great way of actually stealing your opponent's best cards and using them against each other. And it also says here, another problem is just because it has been added to your deck doesn't mean you're necessarily going to draw into it. Again, like anything else that's added to the deck, it has to be searched for and you need to have certain cards that actually match it to be able to rely on it. And, and the final skill I think he'll have is called No Action. Its ability would be to prevent you or your opponent from activating spell or trap cards the turn this effect is activated and it can only be used as an effect once per duel. The benefits of this would be it prevents the activation of cards letting you clear out your opponent's monsters without having to face any obstacles. It's meant to work alongside Gong's philosophy of not relying on using spell and trap cards and focusing purely on monster cards. And it acts like a cold wave effect and it's something that lots of players would love to see. I'm sure it will become very popular as an idea. The disadvantages include some decks don't rely on spell and trap cards, therefore it might be a wasted ability. It does not matter for certain decks such as, for example, Yuma's Utopia deck, which can actually equip Zexal weapons as those can be equipped at any time beyond this effect or even before this skill is activated, alongside mirror matches against other players using Gong. And since it's going to be a once per duel effect, if you cannot win within the turn, that means you've wasted your chance with this skill. Of all these skills, which one would you like to see introduced? And can you think of any other skills that you would personally like to see yourself? For me, I do like the no action skill. I think it's very much in keeping with his philosophy. And I definitely hope they have something similar to this, even if it's not going to be exactly what I've suggested. Whatever you think, leave those in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh! content.